This next tool we're going to cover this week is a clinometer. So we use clinometers uh, pretty frequently in forestry to measure percent slope or degrees of a, of a hillside. Um, and also we would use this to measure tree heights, be another really common, um, common component that we would want to want to know. Um, this particular clinometer, again, these come in different, different configurations. This one's made by Sunto and it's from Finland. Um, they're fairly, fairly pricey, uh, instrument around $150 or so, maybe 160, just depending upon the day or where you're buying them. Um, again, come in different configurations. The one that you have is going to be in, uh, measured in percent and topog. So those are derivations of a chain. So if you look here on the side of the wheel, it's going to say the left side is going to be in percent and you can't quite see the right side here because it's behind, but on the right side, it'll be one to 66 as a ratio. So the right side of the, of the wheel or inside the instrument, when you look through the view portal in the back here is going to be, uh, in measurements of, uh, topog. Do you always want to make sure the instrument is held in the right direction? So how I do that is the lanyard attachment here is going to be on the bottom. So when you hold this in your hand, you're going to see in other videos where, where the guys are using these things or the folks are using these things. Uh, you want that lanyard to be hanging down. Make sure you put the lanyard around your neck. That way, if you drop this instrument, you're going to, you're going to actually be able to find it because it's going to be hanging off of your neck. Uh, if you don't do that, you drop this, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to find. You're also going to note that I uh, put flagging on my instruments. Um, that way, if I do drop it, I can, I can usually pick it up. On the back side of uh, the clinometer is, is nice conversions for you. These will solve for alpha. So all they're doing is measuring in percent and they're converting that into degrees. So we'd see that, you know, 100% slope would be a 45 degree angle. And that's, that's kind of convenient for us when we're looking at, uh, you know, the slope of a road, or uh, you might actually want to measure tree heights if you were measuring in degrees. Um, you, could, you could do the conversions there as well. So if you have any questions, hit me up.